Okay, so we're nearly done with this. <coughs> Both are in, uh, fully dried, fully cured. Everything's fully hardened. Uh, they've been cut back. So you can see they're nice and flush. And just took a bit of 120 over the top just to we, we, and use the, the, the pad of your fingers to sort of press into that hole. And that way you just get a nice round over on the edge and there's no, kind of just gets a little roll over. So they are slightly uh, undersized. The, the interior bore, the interior size of the hole is slightly undersized. It's about nine point something millimeters. It's not um, really small, it's like 9.85 or something. So it means that this is tight. This is this is tight to get in, which is good because you want it tight, but I don't want it too tight that it risks damaging these liners. So what I've been doing is I've actually just taken a standard 10 millimeter drill bit into the hole, I'll try this from the other hand, into the hole, and by hand, turn it backwards. If you turn it backwards, it scrapes the wood away rather than cuts the wood away. And it takes a, it takes a long time. It's quite a tedious and boring process. But you have to put a little bit of downward pressure on it, but not enough to wiggle it about too much and just sit there and turn it backwards. And I, I know I could do it with a drill, but just for the sake of it, for the sake of not wanting to, to angle the drill and, and, and lean into the side and wear the wood away too much, just do it with my hand. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. I'll get a torch on it. Probably not. You might just, might just be able to see there's a line. You can see where it's um, about halfway down. You can see there's like a circular line around it. That's actually a, take, a, a very little step where it is cutting away the wood. Like I say, it's just grinding it away as opposed to cutting it away. Um, and I'm just, just going to go the whole way down like that. I've been doing the other side as well. You can see, oh, there you go. Look, there's a much more pronounced line there. So you can see that line. That's where running the drill bit down it is... Um, it's just grinding that away. And that's taken it out to something like 9.95 of a millimeter. Uh, 9.95 millimeters, sorry. So it is working. And then the last thing I'll do is I've got a smaller drill, but this is a 9.5 with a piece of 120 wrapped around it, double, double sided taped on. Um, literally just to use as a sanding stick. Uh, again, that fits in really snugly. Can hear how snug that is and I'll just go down with that afterwards just to make sure it's nice and smooth and there's no burrs or anything left so that's the plan for this going to do that and then we're going to see about getting this in um, I can already feel when I do that it, it's it is going in I can I can just begin to press it in and it stops because it's on it's on size but that is definitely fitting nice and tight so with that with all that ground away and sanded ever so slightly we're gonna go for, unfortunately, bashing this in rather than pressing it in because I don't have a press. Um, and it might be slightly more difficult this than it was on the, on the Warlock because I have to do both of these at the same time equally rather than the Warlock, you just bashed in one and then bashed in the other. So decent block of wood across the top and even, even hits, even pressure hits, whatever you want to, you know, hit them evenly. And this should go down nicely. So I'm gonna get on with that and we'll come back to it when it's time to when it's time to install it. It's in. <clears throat> Apologies again for uh for not getting that caught on video, because I know you're not seeing the actual things happening. But I did try and set the phone up. Um and <clears throat> excuse me. I did try to set the phone up and record it, and of course what happened is the phone just kept jumping and you couldn't see it anyway. So I just concentrated on getting it in nice and straight, nice and flat. Um, and it was really tight. It was really tight, but it's gone down absolutely lovely. Um, you can just see it's it's lined up all the way along. It's lined up with the original screw holes, which means it's gone in perfectly straight. Um, although it doesn't look like, oh no, I think it's just the camera angle. I was gonna say, it looks like it's got a bigger gap here than it's got there, but I think it's just the way I'm holding the camera, holding the phone. So yeah, it's gone in, it's really tight. There's no way, I don't know if I needed to get it out, how I would get it out, because I can't even get the screwdriver in underneath to lever it. Um, so I don't know how I would get it out. So I'm quite glad it, it's gone in, I say that easily, but I mean, that that's straightforward, um, because I wouldn't want to have to take it out and do it again. So it's all in, it's really tight. So now it's just a case of resetting 
uh, put the posts back in, the pivot posts back in. I already measured the height of those, so I can get those back in at the same height. Get the action correct, get the um, get the bridge back in. This will be getting a full setup at some point. Um, it needs a good fretboard clean. Uh, it needs a, 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 a fret polish, um, a full restring, the whole lot. So this will be getting that at some point, but at the moment it's just going to go back in with the strings that we've already got on it, just so I can get it set up and get it get it all working and make sure everything's as it should be. Right, guys, she is done, fully finished, all in, set up, tuned, um, balanced. I've whammied on it just to make sure, and you can see that post in correlation to the saddle screws is so much flatter, so much more straight up. Um, obviously, there's always going to be a little bit of forward pitch because there has to be a bit of movement because of the threaded post. The post will, the, the threads, the way it screws in, will, will rock backwards and forwards inside the bushing. There's always going to be that tiny bit of movement. But compared to how it was, it's so much more stable. Um, and it's sitting completely flat, completely straight. I keep saying flat, I mean straight. Hard to see that one. Um, but yeah, it's and it's so much more rock solid than it was before. Like I said before, it wasn't giving me any problems. The bridge wasn't moving, um, wasn't moving forwards and backwards. It wasn't even, I can't focus. It wasn't even rocking that way because the, the posts were moving that way. It wasn't giving me any problems. Um, I'm sure I'll have to re-intonate now because uh, basically the geometry has ever so slightly changed. But I'm going to do that when it gets its uh, string change, everything else is done, we'll, we'll do the intonation then. Um, but yeah, that's for, for now, that's a great repair. Um, I think it seems to have worked. Uh, quite pleased with that, really. I hope you found this, uh, I don't know, education was the wrong word, but I hope you found it interesting. I know it ended up being quite a long video. Um, I think I'm recording each bit at a time and piecing it together. So by the time you see it, I'll probably split it into three parts. Um, because it ends up being quite long. But uh, hopefully some of you found it useful, and if you didn't find it useful, hopefully you just found it interesting. Thanks for watching.